All right, let's pick these both these guys off. Let's reload real quick. Let's get the third guy. Thank you very much. Let's get out of here real quick. Welcome back to the digital universe. We are back on Call of Duty World War II. Other than our first video, which was my initial thoughts of the game, this is going to start the wave of videos that we're going to be posting here on the digital universe about this new Call of Duty. Uh, I do love this game a lot, and I've got a lot of ideas for different series and just random videos to post. And actually, this is going to be the beginning of a new series. Uh, as you can probably see by the title, this is going to be the start of our class uh, setup series, uh, where I'm going to show you some of my favorite classes and classes that are going to help you get a lot of kills in multiplayer. Alright guys, so what we're going to be doing in this series is for each episode, we're going to be making a class set up for each primary weapon, or for whatever primary weapon coincides with that episode, and then what we're going to do is after we finish setting up the class, I'm going to play an online match with that class so that you can see how I use the weapon because some classes cater to a specific sort of playstyle and I don't want you guys to be using the wrong type of playstyle with the wrong weapon and not having any success with our classes in multiplayer. Uh, but I think that concludes for everything i got to say and let's jump in with the class setup. Alright, so as you guys obviously know by now because of the title, the first weapon we're going to be doing is the STG-44. I absolutely love this gun. It's probably my my favorite uh, in Call of Duty World War II so far. Uh, so for this class, obviously, STG-44 is going to be our primary class. For Division, we are going to go Infantry. Uh, this is going to give our gun, because we're pairing it with a rifle, which is what it's supposed to be with, we're going to get ourselves a bayonet, which will be helpful in short range. And we're going to get an additional primary attachment, which is super helpful. Um, so for the attachments now, we're going to be doing... Quick draw is essential, because we got an AR, we need to be moving quick. I like grip, but that one's optional. Usually I would switch it out with... Uh, usually I would switch it out with FMJ or Steady Aim. Uh, and I guess you could use High Caliber too. Any of these three are really good. Uh, down here, I haven't even unlocked these yet, but I don't really use these. Four times optic, I would never use. Rapid fire is okay, but I find that usually I prefer the accuracy over the fire rate, but that really just depends on you. Uh, extended mag, you really don't need this at all for the STG-44. And advanced rifling is pretty much useless also. All it's increasing is your range, which is basically what grip is going to do, but grip is even more effective, uh, as you can see by the bottom right thing. Uh, the grip increases it to 9 accuracy, and the advanced rifling only to 8, or range, I mean. Oh, actually, no, my bad, it's accuracy and range. But, I mean, that's, those are very similar, obviously. If you have more accuracy, you have more range. I prefer grip, whichever one, really, and it's way, way easier to unlock. Um, again, guys, th these classes, they're not going to be like 100%, you have to follow this or you're not going to do good. Everything is really optional. I'm telling you what I like, what works for me and what will hopefully work for you, what's like an all-around good class. You can mess with anything you like. If you have changes you want to make, then go ahead and make those changes, whatever works for you. Uh, but for our third attachment, we're going to go with Reflex Sight. I really, really like the sight on the uh, on the STG-44, uh, or the Reflex Sight, I mean. I don't like the Iron Sights that it has. Lens Sight is okay. Some people prefer that, I've heard, but I mean, I'm not really sure how you could. It's sort of... I don't know what the word is, not distorted, but almost like foggy, like like when a screen is foggy or lenses are foggy, like that's what the lens sight looks to me like for some reason. Uh, and the reflex sight is just very clear, very easy to use, so I like that. Uh, it basically like outlines your enemy, it's very useful. Uh, for the secondary, this one's pretty much anything you want to go with, to be honest with you. The machine pistol is really good. I haven't even unlocked it yet, but that one's a good one. I have picked it up. I have used it before. Uh, that's very good because it's good for short range, 
which is going to help you a lot because the STG is more of a long-range weapon because it's an AR. You don't really need an attachment on your pistol, but I guess you can go for it if you want. I, I just threw on quick draw right there. You never really need... I mean, the secondary, I don't use the secondary much. Uh, it's just sort of there in case of a catastrophe where you run out of bullets or somebody charges you. That's what it would be useful for, but it's it's not... It's obviously not your main weapons. So you don't really have to worry too much. Uh, and then for your basic training... This really depends on your play style, but for this class, I like to use Hustle. Uh, because the... what. What you lack with the STG-4, with, with, oh my god, I literally cannot speak at all right now, sorry. What you lack when you're using the STG-44 is going to be speed. That is usually the problem with the ARs, you don't really have the agility that you do with the SMGs. That's where Hustle comes in. Hustle is going to give you that edge, that speed. It's going to let you reload faster, and it's going to let you reload while you're sprinting, which are both super helpful to get out of a sticky situation with an AR, where you're not able to run and gun with the like you are with the SMGs. Uh, and then lastly, for the grenade, that... I guess it sort of depends on what game mode you're playing. I usually like to stick to the good old regular grenade. Uh, I guess the sticky bomb is decent. I don't really like sticky bombs in this, uh, in this game. They're not very good. I used it during the beta. I don't think they've changed much. Uh, and then... I don't really use tacticals. I don't... I mean, I would always rather the kill. That's why I use the lethals. Smoke grenade's okay, but I normally use that in, like, war when you're playing objective. And I guess that's a, very helpful if you're playing an objective-oriented game, if you're playing like, ranked play, or you're playing game battles, or you're playing war, where you really have to get the objective done. That's when the smoke grenade will be useful to cover yourself planting the bomb or building the bridge in war or something like that. Otherwise, if you're just playing for kills, I would go with a lethal, something like this, just the regular grenade. Uh, and I think that's just about it for the STG-44 class. Uh, yeah, I said the division... That's going to be just about everything you need for this class. And like I mentioned before, don't forget, please, do not think that you absolutely have to use this class setup or any of the things that I used. This is merely a guideline for you to follow. If you want to go with this exact thing, this is my favorite class, all the power to you. Uh, but if you want to change anything up, don't think that you're going to ruin the class. It's all up to how you play. So if you think you have something that's going to improve the class, go ahead and add it. If you have something that you like that you want to add, like I was mentioning with the playstyle and the grenades, if you need a smoke grenade, go ahead and throw that on. It all depends on your playstyle. But for this STG44 class, that is going to be it. And we're going to jump in with our STG44 gameplay. All right, guys, so we are in our game right here. If you just came from the weapon tutorial, if you think that you have got it under wraps, that the tutorial is all you need, you can go ahead and click off. Thank you very much for watching. But if you're having any trouble using the class or you want to see how I use it, how you how you can best use it in your gameplay, let's pick this guy off while I'm talking, then go ahead and watch this or continue watching this video. And I'm going to give you some pointers on how best to use the class. Oh, geez, as I get blown up. Uh, yeah, so I'll give you some pointers on how best to use the class and the weapon to maximize how many kills and least deaths you can possibly get. Alright, so, and this guy starts talking. Okay. Alright, so, you're gonna notice throughout the game, I'm gonna be ADSing a lot, or aiming down sights if you don't know what that means. Uh, like, just stopping like, the, oh, what am I shooting at? I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, that guy just ran right by me. Uh, alright, let's pick these, both these guys off, let's reload real quick, let's get the third guy, thank you very much, let's get out of here real quick, I do not like this position, uh, yeah, but you're gonna see I'm ADSing a lot, oh man, the reason for that is because, like I mentioned in the weapon tutorial when we were building our classes, you're not able to run and gun as easily with a with an AR as you are with an SMG. This gun is heavy, you're lugging it around, you're not, you don't have the mobility that you would have with an SMG, so you're not really running around as much. You're running and you're sort of just posting up once you get to a good position, and you're just gonna play slow. I mean, for some people that's counter to how they usually play Call of Duty, 
but you'll find that with those people that, like, they might be having trouble getting kills. They're getting frustrated. They're sort of, they may feel like, I mean, I've had this too, that's why I know. Uh, you sort of feel like you're just running into enemy fire over and over again, and that might be because you need to be using an AR, on, especially on maps like this, for example. I mean, you know, classes that work best vary with the, vary with the maps. This map is, I consider it at least a long-range map. You've got a lot of areas where people are going to camp and just post up an AR. So you need to be able to do the same thing. Uh, so as you can see, like right now, don't blow me up. Come on with the grenades. Um, like I was just doing right there, I was just sort of holding my ground, ADSing, waiting for someone to challenge me. You can't just be running at the enemies because you don't have the mobility to take care of all the enemies once you actually get there. So you're just kind of gonna like run into them and die basically if you're if you're playing like that with this class. Okay, I can't show you anything because every time I step out, I get grenaded. Come on. Okay. Let's get up to the middle real quick. I feel like this whole example has just been me dying. Alright, so I'm gonna aim nice and slow here. I think I saw a guy. Alright, let's take that guy out real quick. There's another guy right there. Let's take him out. See, I'm aiming a lot now. I mean, obviously, I would have been aiming with an SMG, too. But, oh my god, did he just shoot me through the wall? Wow. This game is not going well. Okay, whatever, though. I'm just trying to get my points across, show you what I mean. Uh, every game is not going to be a winner, guys. That's also important to know. You can't just think that you're going to watch this video... Make this class and all of a sudden, boom, you're going to be Optic Scumpy getting 30 kills a game. That might not happen. I mean, every game is not a winner. I'm dying, as you can see. Uh, let's see here. Wait. Just got to focus up real quick. Every game, you're not going to be slaying everybody out. You got you to gotta take the good with the bad, you know? You got to appreciate the good games that you're winning and then be able to deal with the games that you're losing. So, okay. See what I'm doing right here? I'm just sort of holding my ground. There's a guy above me, I think. He's kind of scaring me. But I'm just gonna chill here. Alright, I'll start to push up a bit. I don't want to get in a position where I can get shot in the back. I keep thinking that right there, that stain, is a person. Really scary, actually. And guys, you, you want to pre-aim as much as That's what I'm doing right now. I'm pre-aiming all over the place. You really want to pre-aim as much as possible. Uh, is this guy shooting at me? I really can't even tell at this point. He just jumped down on top of me. Okay. Uh, where is he at? So you're going to see a ton of pre-aiming. That's a guy right there. Hello. Pre-aim a lot. I don't... Yeah, that was a dumb challenge. Okay. It's fine, though. So, the slow gameplay is really favored with the AR. Just keep sticking to that. You might not be getting a million kills. I mean, it happens. Um, you don't always have to be the killer, especially if you're playing a team game. If you're playing war, it's not all about the kills. If you just want to win the game, play slow. You don't have to be running out. You don't have to be picking up every single kill. You got to be playing smart. You got to be locking down positions. Which is what I'm doing here. I'm just moving around slowly. Okay, half time. Perfect timing. Uh, I'm just sort of crawling around the map. I'm holding down. Oh, and it looks like we actually got the uh, the kill of the game here. Or the kill of the halftime, at least. Nice, nice three-piece we got at the beginning. So yeah, locking down positions with the AR. That's what the AR is made for. The SMG is made for the running and gunning. The AR is sort of just to hold down where you are, you know, protect a location. If you got to hold down C flag, for example, you don't want to be doing that with an SMG. You want to have a little bit of distance and then lock it down with an AR. In my opinion, that's the best strategy to go for. So that's what this class is going to be for. Uh, is there a guy here? I see a guy right up there. He's going to try and snipe me, get a hit marker. Oh man, I couldn't escape fast enough. Okay, no biggie. Let's see if we can go down the right side here. We've been sticking to that left side. Let's see what we can do here. Is there a guy over here that we can pick off? So you'd never want to come up here with an SMG. This is definitely an AR area. You have the advantage of having a long-distance weapon. Take that advantage, guys. I'm telling you. Don't get anxious. Don't get, like... 
Don't get hyperactive and think that you can go run out and take out their whole team with an AR. It's not going to work. Play slow like I'm playing here. Stick to the back roads. Use the flanking options that are in front of you. Take those, you know, like, take the advantages wherever you can get them. Don't be dumb. Don't just run out. Play slow. See, so, yeah, I came behind that guy. I got a nice kill on him. Can I shoot a guy in the back here? No, there's no one up those stairs. So I'm just going to chill here and pre-aim. Watch this. Are they all going to run at me? There's one. Who else do we got? I see a guy over there. Is he going to run at me too? Okay. What's happening? What's happening? They're trying to nade me. Oh, man. I'm getting some hit markers. Okay. All right. It's fine. We died. But that's the sort of thing that you want to be doing. You're sort of chilling in their spawn. You're not running at them. You're letting them run at you. Because then you have the advantage. If they're coming at you, their guns are down, they're sprinting, you're basically catching them with their pants down. That's what you're trying to do with this AR class. Okay, and now we have this distance, so we can try and get this guy. Oh my god, my aim is horrendous. And there's another one. Wow, I'm literally just laying down shots getting hit markers. Alright, there's one. Can we get the last guy that was over there? I think he went up to avoid my, to avoid my shots. And you see that? Like, I can hold down this whole side by myself. Just because I have this AR class. The SMG, I would've got destroyed ages ago like that. Where is this guy? Am I gonna fall off the map? I didn't even know where the edge was. That was really sad. Definitely don't do that, regardless of what class setup you have. Don't, don't jump off the map. That's always a, uh... It's always a counterintuitive strategy. Uh, okay. What can we do here? They're to my right, I saw that. Let's get back in this spot we were in. This is a nice, nice little spot here. Let's grab that guy up there. I don't see where I'm being shot from. Oh man, he was up on the stairs. Wow, he had he had a nice angle on me. I could not see him at all. Okay, 16-12. Not bad, not bad. I find these domination games are not too great for getting too many kills. Alright, you see that? That was a nice, nice example of the free aiming right there. I'm gonna jump down and see if I can grab this guy right here who's sitting in a corner. We got him. I'm just gonna chill here in ADS real- actually, wait. Let's not get flanked real quick. Okay, and now we can just sort of chill here and aim. I think I'm getting some free aim on somebody, but I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Can I get him? No, nope, he's gonna run away because I had to reload. That's annoying. All right, who can we kill? Who can we kill? All right, I'm seeing guys all over the place. That's a teammate. Wow, his his name tag just disappeared for a second. There's like nobody here. Wow. Oh man, I cannot wait until I unlock the bar. It is really, really powerful. It's a little bit ridiculous actually, but whatever, I guess. 19 and 13, we're doing good. We're definitely going to make sure we get another kill, get into the 20s real quick. Alright, let me just chill up here. Let's pick off this guy, thank you very much. Help our teammate out over here. Looks like he's actually got it all locked down by himself. Uh, this is actually a very good spot right here, because your right is not too exposed. The bridge sort of covers you from below a little bit. Uh, after saying that, knowing my luck, I'm probably going to get shot from the right somehow. But this is a very good spot to just sort of chill, wait them out. Let them run right at you with their pants down, like I was saying before, and you can just cut them down from this spot easily. And if I didn't mention already, like I know I've been saying you gotta sort of just chill in ADS a lot, head glitches are super, super advantageous when you have an assault rifle. You really, really want to use every head glitch in the map to your advantage. It may sound like a newbie thing to do, but trust me, it's what you want to be doing. Okay, and see, I'm pushing up too far. This is gonna get me killed. I gotta get out of here. Okay, yep. Can I chill? Is there anybody here? I think we're good for a second. So that's an example of what you want to do if you ever get caught in close quarters. Unfortunately, you, you do want to try and be over-prepared, you know, just chill, wait them out like I've been saying. But if you do get caught in close quarters, use the bayonet. You have that to your advantage. We, we, we set that up in the classes. Uh, and also try drop-shotting, drop try jump-shotting. Anything to give you an advantage when you're short range because you're already at a disadvantage with the AR. 
All right, we're getting some nice kills here at the end. Game's about to end. Can I pick up a final kill, maybe? Oh. Oh, my God. Right on the spot. And I was about to get a kill. All right, it's fine. We had a good game. What is that? 24 and 14. Not bad at all. I think I basically showed off the gameplay that you guys are going to want to try and use. Play it slow. Don't rush. Don't run into rooms. Like, actually, right over there where that guy was sniping into that room... Near the end there, I sort of pushed up a little too far, and I was getting destroyed. Couldn't lay down any, like, useful fire. Um, so I just sort of took a couple steps back, picked up three kills like that. If you find yourself in a position like that, don't worry if you're already in there. Don't freak out. Don't think, you know, oh, I got this. I'm going to charge in there with my bayonet. Play it smart. Move back. It's all about the smart gameplay. You're not going to rush into the room. Take a step back. Kill the guys behind you, always check your back, then turn around and wait for them to run out of the room, and then you can just cut them down while you're aiming down sights, waiting for them. That's the essential gameplay that's going to really, like, put you over the line, give you that extra advantage that's going to give you the winning gunfights and let you go 24 and 14 if you're struggling. Um, let's actually back out of here for now. I think that's going to be it, guys. We saw the class setup, we saw how to use it. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Use the class, make whatever changes you need, and go out there, wreck some shop in public, and then after you learn all the tips and tricks to the game, after you've got all your classes set up to your liking, maybe go try out rank play. I know for me right now it's not open because the game has just started, uh, and rank play starts, I believe, in December. Maybe go set up a GB account, play some GBs. I'm, I haven't even done that yet. I'm not sure if it's working yet. Um... Go verse your friends, go cut them down with the classes that we make in here, use the gameplay, don't get crazy, think about what you're doing basically, don't, like I said, don't, don't get crazy, don't get overhyped and run into bad situations that lead in death, always play it smart, play it safe, especially when you're using an AR class. Anyway, anyway guys, sorry, uh, thank you very, very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time on the Digital Universe.